Bernard Forsythe spends every day the same way, hiking kilometers in the woods through all kinds of terrain in search of owls. For the past four decades, Forsythe has made it his mission to preserve the barred owl population. I started in the mid-70s and uh, some of my boxes have been up 35 years and they've been used year after year after year by these owls. The owls normally nest in hollow trees and old growth forests. As the old growth disappears, the nesting boxes become good substitutes. With only a coat, gloves, pliers, rope and a bag, he also bans each and every owl he finds. Sometimes that involves climbing more than 30 feet up a tree to get baby owls. Not an easy task, especially when the watchful mother owl looks on. I can hear the bill snap. They're threatening me. Two big chicks. I just got hit in the shoulder. The adults have become very accustomed to, to me. Uh, they've lost their fear of me, even though they don't realize that I'm not going to hurt their babies. Uh, so all they're doing is trying to protect, protect the young. You could easily lose an eye or an ear. Forsyth continues, carefully taking each of the three-week-old babies from the box and lowering them to the ground. This is the first time the owls have been out of their nesting box. Forsyth carefully attaches a band to each of the owls' legs. So he has a brand new bracelet for the rest of his life. Now where the owls go and how long they live can be traced. The owls will only be in the box for another two weeks, making this the perfect time to ban them. They're a lot easier to handle <laughs> and they're easier to get. Once, once they're out of the, uh, out of the nest, uh, it, you know, they're, they're, they, they won't let you walk up to them. <laughs> the whole time the banding is taking place, the mother expresses her displeasure. She says, get away from my babies. <laughs> the, that's a typical call of a barred owl. Uh, there's a little saying to re how to remember it. Who cooks for you, who cooks for you all? Once both are banded, the process of returning them to the box begins. Yeah, put you back in there. The adults, once they've established territory, will hold it for life. Uh, and, and the young are dependent on the adults until the fall. As many as 70% of birds of prey die within their first year. Most owl fatalities happen when the owls can't get enough food. If owls can make it past their first birthday, they have an expected lifespan of more than 20 years. Forsyth doesn't always track into the woods to find his beloved owls. In fact, he has an entire family of them living in his backyard. Every night, he feeds them supper. Here you go. And he's gone. To date, Forsyth has banded more than 600 owls, and he has no plans of stopping anytime soon. Natasha Pace, Global News, Kings County, Nova Scotia.